That's a good question. Why should you want to bone out your animal? Well, first off, in a 2004 study, it was proven that CWD can be spread to risk-prone animals indirectly from environments contaminated by excreta from infected animals or decaying infected carcasses. It's been long suspected, but now there's proof. Now, because of this, there are a growing number of states that have adopted some form of carcass transportation regulations, which prohibit hunters from transporting whole deer and elk carcasses into their states. These regulations are being adopted to minimize the possibility of spreading the disease to new areas. Refer to the CWD facts section of this CD to get more specific information on these regulations. Okay, we know state transportation regulations are a factor. What other reasons are there to bone out your animal? Well, boning out the carcass minimizes the possibility that a hunter could contaminate the meat with spinal tissue or fluid containing prions if the animal is infected. And did you know that boning out the meat as opposed to sawing through the bone can produce the best quality cuts because sawing tends to spread bone marrow under the surface of the meat, causing it to spoil quicker. The bone marrow can also create an unpleasant off-taste at the table. And finally, boning out has several other advantages, including reduced amount of weight to pack out of the woods, reduced volume of carcass to transport back home in an ice chest, and less weight and less cost if you choose to have the meat commercially processed. All in all, it's a good thing to know. So, let's learn how simple it is to bone out your animal.